Here are some examples of problems about optimization. Problem 1. A three-sided rectangular fence is to be built next to a wall to enclose a region of area 1,800. What is the minimum perimeter of the fence? First, let's draw a picture. Say that the wall is here, then the fence could go something like this. The area is 1,800, and since it's a rectangular fence, we only have two possible different lengths here. Let's call them x and y. And this side is also x. So the area of this is x times y, which is equal to 1,800, since it's a rectangle. And the perimeter of only the fence is going to be 2x plus y equals p. Because we need to use fence on both of the sides that are of length x, but only one side of length y, since the wall covers the remaining side. Now that we've written out the equations corresponding to this problem, we need to identify the quantity that we're optimizing. In this case, it's the perimeter, so p, and find a way to write it in terms of only one variable. So from the equation xy equals 1,800, we can write y is equal to 1,800 divided by x. Then we can rewrite p. p equals 2x plus y, which is 2x plus 1,800 divided by x. Now that we have p in terms of only x, we can proceed to optimize it. But before we do that, let's determine which region x is taken from, what possible values x can be. Since x is the length of a fence, we know that x has to be greater than 0. But beyond that, x can be as small as it wants, as close to 0, or as large as it wants. And there will be a y that corresponds to it to make the fence enclose an area of 1,800. Now to find a minimum of p, we want to take the derivative of p with respect to x. p prime of x equals 2 minus 1,800 over x squared, so that we can identify where the critical points are. The derivative is not defined as 0, but our function wasn't defined as 0 either, so that's not a point we have to consider. To find the rest of the critical points, we set this equal to 0. 0 equals 2 minus 1,800 over x squared, which is equivalent to 2 equals 1,800 over x squared, which means that x squared equals 1,800 over 2, which equals 900. If we take the square root of both sides, we get x equals 30. Minus 30 is also a solution to this, but it doesn't work since it's not in the desired range of x values. Now we see that the only critical point in this region is at x equals 30, so it should be the minimum that we want. But just to make sure that it actually is a minimum, let's find the second derivative of p at x equals 30. p double prime of x is equal to 0 from the 2 term, and then plus 2 times 1,800 over x cubed. And this is equal to 3,600 over x cubed. Now, since 3,600 is positive and 30 is positive, plugging 30 into this equation will give us a positive number, which means that the function is convex at the critical point x equals 30. Therefore, x equals 30 is indeed a minimum. The last step is to plug 30 in to define the actual perimeter and what the dimensions x and y have to be. So x equals 30, p is equal to 2 times 30 plus 1,800 over 30, which equals 60 plus 18 over 3 is 6, so also 60 here or 120. So the optimal value for the perimeter is 120, and the x value is x equals 30, and then y is 1,800 over the x value, which equals 60. And that's the result.